Do you know about the Santa Cruz operation? SCO filed a lawsuit against Linux which led to a change of events. You see, back in 2002, SCO, the SCO group and the TSG group were some of the various that came to be known for owning Unix operating system assets. SCO filed a lawsuit against Linux for using its Unix assets and providing them for free. Microsoft, the same company that termed Linux to be a cancer, backed SCO. And after a year of battle, the court finally ordered the shutdown of Linux at its infancy. In an email to Richard Stallman, Linus Torvalds said, The world shall regret when every little thing would be commercialized. That story is however not completely true. SCO had filed a lawsuit. But the court found out that the copyrights were owned by Novel and not SCO. Novel said that Linux was nowhere near to Unix and hence they were not interested to file any lawsuit against Linux. Hence Linux continued to exist as it is. What if it was changed? What if SCO had won the battle of justice? Progress would be quite a bit slower in a world without open source. There likely would be little to no digital transformation and it would be more difficult to cooperate with other organizations. This has a reason. Many parts of even proprietary softwares have code snippets from open source softwares. Without open source, you don't get access to the huge library, which means that every little thing needs to be created by you for developing a software. Now that will need more than twice the time required for development, while developers will continue to keep tweaking with the basics, wasting resources and energy. To solve that, it would be necessary to establish common standards between proprietary systems, but this presents a different issue. It makes sense that any group would seek to spread as many of its own standards as they can. This would lead to more obstacles to overcome drawn out talks and undesirable compromises. Innovation would have a major setback. The complete crushing of open source can only be possible by owning the web. A free web means it is available for anything to the public, and hence open source products would have jumped into the place anyway, unless codes were removed manually every time posted. Developers in such a highly hypothetical case would have to work under specific companies following a set of rules. Codes could be shared inside the company among the co-workers but individual developers could not share original ideas on the internet for others to borrow. Without vendor-neutral standards, essential technologies like the cloud would experience a severe lack of innovation. Modern businesses like Uber or Airbnb would not have developed into what they are today, assuming that they had ever existed. Microsoft itself, along with developers for Windows and Apple as a company, primarily rely on open source standards, tools and components. Without open source, innovation would be drastically reduced and software would be more costly and monolithic. Expanding on the notion of open standards and information sharing, open source is crucial in fields like research, space exploration and medical development where knowledge exchange is crucial. Supercomputers enable the analysis of enormous amount of data gathered by scientists. While open source based computer tomography or MRI systems are extensively used in the medical field. We could not even have these awesome conky themes by Closebox73, which I can't stop myself from using. The world would have been a dull place. No shared wallpapers, no copyright free music, no artworks that can be reused, no Unix porn. Sharing the workload has never been more crucial than it is today, a time of increasing digitalization and innovation. Anyone can participate as long as they have access to the internet and a feeling of curiosity. And this sense of diversity has helped to shape the community into what it is today. Variety, quick, innovation and cost savings are made possible through open source. Why would we even desire a world devoid of it? Thankfully, it is extremely improbable that open source will vanish. Even if it did not exist, it is very likely that it would be created. It would have been more difficult to disable with ways of banning even if they had been invented in the first place. For the presence of open source, and enterprises will be able to benefit from significant level of innovation for many years to come and effectively raise their market position, thanks to Linux and others. 
but those who let the opportunity pass them by will inevitably fall behind. Taking the help of massive developer energy can no way match the paid developers working under one company's hood. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.